Okay, so once you've logged in to your teacher account, this is the screen that you'll be greeted with. To find your students or a particular student, you need to click on the admin button, which is the second section down here on the left hand side. And then this is your admin panel where you can search for a student by particular name. So all the students at the college would be in this result here. So you can search for a student by typing in somebody's name. Alternatively, if you want to go to a group of students, um, a tutor group, a class group, a tag that the college has created, then you'd go to the tags button and then you can type in this level three study program in beauty and therapy, for instance. This is the group I've chosen to look at. Hit enter, and then this group will appear here. So check that box, and then the students on the right hand side of the page would be those students relevant to that group. So you can see a quick overview of what they've done in their profile. So most of the students in this group have completed their bio, but little else. Some students have uploaded some work. You can see seven examples of evidence. These two students here, four, six. So there's been, there has been some work completed so far. Uh, if you want to drill down into that individual student, the quality of their work, what they've done so far, then you can just click on that student. Let's go to the student with some evidence at the bottom. So Dana. And again, we can see now an overview of what the student has uploaded to her profile or his or her profile, um, what they've completed in their section so far, if they've evidenced any hours of the above work experience, volunteering, paid work, and then any badges that the student is looking to complete, whether they've activated them or whether they've completed them yet. Uh, it looks like the student hasn't submitted any badges yet, but they have tagged these skills and they've uploaded some evidence. Um, let's view her profile. So they've completed their bio, they've not got a profile picture, uh, they're not to educate, oh they have started to do their education. Employment, students, skills, and she started to complete a work experience badge as well. So you can see what you can do with that student's profile. If you'd like to get in touch with that student, you can send them a message by clicking send a message. Which will load up a new screen, give it a subject, give it a title. That will then get emailed to that student and they'll get a notification when they log in. So that's how you can interact and engage with students and check how they're doing on their profile. If you've created a badge um, as a member of staff, then you can check who has, created, has, has uh, participated in those badges or events that you may have created. You do that by clicking, go to the admin section again and then click on badges, which is at the top. And all of the badges, this may take a while to load if there's lots of students who've uh, completed or if, or if indeed there's lots of badges that have been created by staff at the college so there's lots of events that have been created I can see straight away as well as skill badges and keep loading the page more and more badges if you click on the link for instance so there's seven users waiting for assessment for this one so if I was to go on this badge you can see what the students did as part of that badge and if I click on see users and see the users who are waiting for their badge to be confirmed by the staff who is uh, at the event. Thank you.